Hi guys, welcome back. In this XT tips, I will show you how to create this awesome sliding uh, on button, sliding side, and you can on the button like this and off the button like this. So this is a classic sliding button with a cool switch on top of it. When you are on, the button is happy, and when you're off, it's sad. So let's get started. Okay, for this, uh, I will be using the iPhone XX size uh, artboard. You can have any size uh, you want. Just just a demo purpose. I'm using this one. Okay. Uh, first, we draw our background layer, and maybe we color it in a light gray color. So we don't need border for this one. And please remember guys, uh, for this animation, uh, remember to name everything properly. So then only it will work on the on the auto animate part. I will show you how. how. Okay, uh, this one will be background layer. Okay. So next step, we draw the component sliding com uh, button component background um, we can make it center and the corners we make round corners same as illustrator you can use this 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 tool to make them uh, circle and fill it with uh, maybe pink color Light pink will do. Okay, and we don't need a border for this one. And uh, you can copy this by pressing Alt key, same as Illustrator, and make it a little bit smaller. Maybe the color a little bit lighter. Yeah, and. Let's make it center to the background layer. Yeah, this one will do. And now we create the animating switch icon. Um, just on this size is okay. It's okay. You don't need a border. Uh, let's have a gradient color for this one. Radial gradient into. Slide. Yellowish, yellowish color and little bit darker. Um, uh, yes, I think. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, maybe we give a border to this also, a very small one, 0 0.25, and make the border lighter. Um, we can also apply a shadow, it will look uh, nicer in this way, okay. So we name this one as face circle. Okay, so this this is the active mode, which is on mode. So our face will be happy in this mode. So we draw the mouth, uh, and we can use the pathfinder tool here to cut the top part of this circle and. Yeah, and we don't need a border for this. Just have a pink color, gray, maybe. Yep, and let's center this one. Okay. And. 
let's have the I this look happy or maybe we don't take yeah this look happy okay and let's make the corners curvy and into it yeah and name it left eye and alter drag copy let's name it right eye make them a little same line maybe bring it to bring it down yeah so this look fine and uh, maybe we have one more fill color we apply this pink for the mouth inside the mouth have a copy and paste control C control V we want the yes so this look fine this one maybe tongue okay so our first portion is done all we need to do is group all these things as an icon Control G and the group name will be uh, button alright so our active button is done then we have to copy this artboard just click on the title of the artboard and press alt key and drag yes and it will copy everything with same name as we assign okay so this one will be the inactive face so i will bring this one to right side corner maybe we give a rotation 90 degrees uh no 180 degrees yep and we change the position of these eyes make it rotate this way Let's make it rotate this way because yep this one look better so we have to rename this now same here also okay and we change the color to gray and this one also gray and maybe this one also gray okay now we are almost done now we have to link these two so it will it will work as our prototype so we go to the prototype mode and click on the button and drag to the second artboard and here 
trigger will be drag the action is auto animate same for this one the, the artboard will be the first artboard drag auto animation auto animation so let's see our animation yep and yes here we have it guys so and it's cool so i think you guys will like it and thank you for watching and see you guys soon